There are a few more things I would like to show you about pages that we didn't do in our practice document. First of all, what if you don't want to use a template? You just want to create a new blank document, say, for an English class. So create document. And you could choose which option you want if you want portrait or a landscape. Um, so this one, I'm just going to click on portrait for now. So that's your new blank document. Again, don't forget to move it or rename it um, wherever you need to do that. Um, headers and footers and page numbers are essential when you're doing uh, a formal paper. So I wanted to show you how to get to that. So um, to do that, you go to more and document setup so here's where you can play around with the margins so as you can see you can move each one on the side um, but most it's set up with one inch and that's what you most likely want in your former formal papers but if you want a more narrow you can make it more narrow um, and at the top are the headers and the footers so and the page numbers so you can click on there and if you wanted to put a page number there you say which page it is one um, and then you could also uh, with mla formatting you want to put your last name uh, at the top of the page with the page number and so pages is a little different because if you want your name in the top right corner you just type it in the top right corner if you want something in the top center that's where you type it if you want something in the top left that's where you type it and as well on the bottom that's where you type it as as well uh, you can also format this text um, if you would like so i want to select it down here at the bottom you could select your times new roman uh, and make it Times New Roman. Um, you can make it a different color, etc., just like you would in the normal pages document. Um, here we don't want to add any of that, but those are your margins, headers, footers. You would put your footer at the bottom, etc. When you're done, you just simply hit done. And now you can see that that clopper one there is at the top. And if we would press enter, um, you could also put in a page break as well. But if you just press enter forever, you can see then it put clopper two on the second one or your name in clopper two. So then you could simply um, do your MLA formatting as you normally would your class teacher and the date I'm just going to make up a date and then remember for double spacing you would come to your formatting line spacing and go to two and that's how you would do your MLA formatting and margins uh, a few other things I wanted to show you were um, some more fancy things um, but first let's start with bulleted lists so um, let's say we're doing something about dogs since you could probably hear my dog in the background and so in order to take care of my dog he needs food, water, shelter. And let's say I wanted this to be a bulleted list. So you come to your formatting and there you can see bullets. So you could have those bullets. You could have an image bullet. If you do an image bullet, then you can select more of those different ones. You can do 
the indent, the text size, all that good stuff. So if I wanted my bullet to be bigger, I could make it bigger, all that good stuff. So something you can play around with there. But that's how you get to it, is the formatting tab. Now, let's say we want to add a picture of our dog. Now, if you have a picture, you could add it through your camera roll, um, and that would be easy. But let's say you don't. You want to get a photo off the internet, since you can hear my dog lapping his water in the background, I'm sure. And so I'm trying to get... As you guys know, sometimes that's finicky to get up at the same time. I'm trying to do the split screen and it's not cooperating as I would like it to. So just be patient with me. Here we go. So let's say I want a picture of my Labrador Retriever. Or let's just say a Labradoodle. So you could go to images and you can simply click on a photo sometimes and drag it in. Now, then you can format that photo. Like we can add that, we can arrange it so that it's around my text or above or below. And as you saw before, um, you can do all sorts of fancy schmancy things with your photos. Okay. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show you was um, shapes. So yes, we inserted shapes um, or objects, but um, let's say we wanted a dog. So this looks like my dog here. So I'm going to insert my dog and let's format the shape. Actually, let me move this one out of the way. Okay, so you can actually add text to this um, shape just like we added text to shapes in Word. And so I'm going to type the name of my dog. And again, as we did in, in Word, you can also format that. So you can make the shape a different color, you can make your text a different color, um, you can do gradients, again, something you would want to play with, okay, and you can make it around, okay. You can also um, draw on this object, um, you can annotate at any point uh, in your document. Um, you can add um, pictures, you can, which we did, but you can also add video. So if your instructor for some reason wanted you to add, say, a video of you doing an experiment, you could add a video to that. So in this case, I'm just going to add this video that I did earlier. So there's your video. Again, you can arrange it so that it's not in the way of everything. Okay, And your instructor could actually watch that video in there. Likewise, you can add audio. And you can simply hit record and record your audio, hit stop, and then you tap off of it. You can preview it, you can edit it. And when you're done, you say insert at the top and there is your audio. So if you wanted to take a sound of your dog barking, um, then you can do that as well. 
And I think that's all I wanted to show you on this kind of catch-all video. So hopefully if you have any further questions on how to do anything, you could ask or you can check out the additional resources in school.